Hello everyone, it's Type Fusion Gaming here for another episode of Terraria Flip World. Now last time, we died a lot. Trying to get the biome chests and the armor polish. So that kind of sucked. I was expecting last episode to be uh, kind of like a grinding episode. But I guess that'll be this episode. But yeah, we got the Rainbow Gun and the Piranha Gun. Which I'm probably not going to use the Piranha Gun. Well, that was weird. It's like curved in a weird way. Yeah. So I guess the next item is, I think, is the vitamins, which has a chance of dropping from the corruptors. So I'll go and do that. All right, at the corruption. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to find corruptors. If it does end up taking a long time, I'll probably make like battle potions. Which increases the spawn rate and place some water candles. I know I came here like a couple episodes ago and uh... <laughs> a one in fifty chance. A one in fifty chance. Go to the corruption and First enemy to kill. Okay. Well, that's good. You have to take this and this. I think that's all you need. And the armor bracing. That's all I need for that item. I was not expecting this to take to go that quick at all. <laughs> Alright. I'm not complaining about that. It's just strange. I should probably search up what the next item needs to be. Alright, next is... Next thing I need to get is the adhesive bandage. I could either... A. Wait for a full moon and care, kill a werewolf. Or kill werewolves and hope to get it. B. Go to that dungeon and defeat a certain type of skeleton. Which you know how I went last time I went in that dungeon. Or C. Go into the jungle and find some anglerfish, which I'll probably do that. And because once again, all of these items have like a 1 in 50 chance. So you get the adhesive bandage, put it with this, and it'll make our next item. So I guess, yep, yeah, off to the jungle. All right, at the jungle. Now I'll get the anglerfish, just have to look for water and hope there's anglerfish there. I go up a bit higher. All right, here is one body of water. Let's see right here. No, no fish. Yeah, what, what? Another turtle shell. Great. I don't need that anymore. There's water here. Fishy. Oh, there's one. Wait, is that... That's another jungle key. Man, beating the odds today. Another jungle key. No, I don't any use for it anymore. I already opened the jungle chest. Okay, there should be a big body of water coming up now. Oh, there it is. Are there really no fish in here? Wow. Alright, I think there might be a bit of water here. Oh! Oh! This is where they're all spawning. Nope. Alright, maybe I should- oh! Play fruit. Maybe I should just go back and forth right there. That might be the best option. So maybe go here, check this whole thing of water and this. Yeah, I can like go in a circle. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I'll go over here. Right. 
go down, go left, and just kind of just go in a big loop. Why, why do more fish spawn here than bigger pool? I don't know. Yeah, my dehi's gone much worse. I don't know if he ever knows, but sometimes when I run right, I like stop for a tiny bit. Hey, there it is. All right, that took quite a while. We finally got it. Now, just gonna put stuff away. Uh, do I need another chest? I'm getting close to needing another chest. I just looked at one of these chests, and dang, I have a lot of yellets. I could probably sell those. But yeah, I got that adhesive bandage. Get the the bezor, and combine it to make this the medical bandage. Our sec- the second part of the thing. Now, let me check what's next. Alright, so we need the fast clock, which we have. And the trifold map, which I don't think we do have. I'll give a quick look. We get the trifold map by defeating light mummies, wraths, wraths, and... And there is one other thing. And you find light mummies by, I think, the hollow desert. But I'm not too sure. So I guess a good place to look would be right here. Oh no, but it's nighttime. I don't think you can find it at nighttime. I guess. I guess I'll go to the hollowed area. I'll find a hollow desert and I'll try to defeat the wraths. Okay, so... Or maybe it's just desert. Oh, hey, unicorn. I remember when I was looking for you. Who knows, it could still be useful. I guess to the left is a desert. Another unicorn. Wow! Only if I got this lucky before. Actually, I'll go to the desert to the left. I think I have to kill the pixies to get the fast clock, but we already have that. Okay, so I just have to kill these mummies. And hope to get the item. Oh wait, no, I have to kill light mummies to get the trifold now. So yeah, this won't work. But the wraths, those little flying things, do have a chance of dropping them. Who knows, maybe regular mummies has an item that drops for the thing. The ank shield. Really? A solar eclipse? Okay, let me collect the money real quick. I think it's daytime now. Come on. I just want to grind. I don't want to die. Uh, I know I'm going to die by Mothron. I just know it. I might as well give myself a bit more room. Oh, there you are. How you doing? Now oh, please move out of the way. Everything shows up. Everything shows up when Mothron does. Ah. 
Well, that kind of sucked. Mothron showed up like once or twice and killed me. Once I killed it, and then it didn't show up again. So it was like barely showed up. He's got a Neptune shell. I don't know if I'm ever going to use that. Alright, well, it's nighttime. Might as well go. I don't think there is any hollow desert, so I'll go back to that desert area and kill the rafts. And hope it drops a. Uh... I don't even remember. Um, and hope it drops a trifold map. What does a sturdy fossil do? Man, there's a lot more sand creatures this time. Maybe I'm just closer to the pit or something. I don't know. Uh, man. Heal up with the nurse. There's way more of the new desert creatures. Like the hard mode ones, so they're doing a lot more damage. I wonder. No, no, I'm gonna check something. And get to the end of this platform, and then, then if I see if we could fly all the way up to the desert. Ah! Oh wait. Dang it. Okay, that's a bit safer, I guess. Wait a second. No, I completely skipped a desert. Must be pretty good then. Alright, well, it looks like nighttime is about over. This is probably gonna be one of the tougher ones to get. So, we don't have any hollow desert, but we can make one. And you go to the steampunk. And. Get the contaminator. For two platinum. And then we'll have to make a house in the hollowed biome. And get the steampunk to move in there so we can get some of the. That hollowed jar stuff. I don't remember what it's called. Alright, got the steampunk, move them in. Now hopefully the steampunk shows up there soon. As we're heading over there and hopefully the steampunk spawns. Uh, no. Well, I'll just wait a bit. Okay, I'm gonna run over here for a bit. And hopefully the steampunker moves, because I need the steampunker to move before I can actually do anything. I guess I could go for the next item, but I have like tabs pulled up on Chrome and and I have them like in I have them arranged in a certain way. So I won't have like lots opened or anything. Moved in yet? No. I don't know how long it takes before the steampunker or any NPC moves. The cyborg has arrived. I guess I'll teleport and I'll look over there. Maybe it, maybe you have to actually go over there to for it to activate. Like maybe the map doesn't update until you actually see it. What are you doing? You're not even living here anymore. The wizard moved into your place. Alright, I'll go up here then. Okay, how about this? I'll go off and on the game. I've, I don't think I have anything laying on the ground that 
can despawn, I have all my items, so. So, go off. And go back on. Did that. That did not work. Come on. <laughs> I just want. Okay, whatever. I'll go for the next item. I'll have to check what that is. Alright, next up, we're looking for the megaphone. We need the megaphone and the Nazar for the next item. But we already have the Nazar. And the megaphones has a ch chance of dropping from pixies. Which, in case you didn't know, they're very common. I will quickly check through all the chests. See if we actually have a megaphone. And that looks like a no. I'm surprised it didn't get a megaphone. Now, once again, another 1 in 50, ch one in 50 chance on getting a megaphone from a pixie. Even after all that pixie farming, there's no megaphone. But you know, why not? I don't know if I have any water candles. I could speed up the process slightly. It's not just speeding up the process for this item, but for like every item. Alright, so maybe I'll get some... Quickly get some water candles. I also need some platforms. I think they have the water candles have to be in platforms. Hopefully, I don't die in the dungeon this time. Because that would suck. But I shouldn't be going very deep into it. I just want to pick up a couple water candles. Oh yeah, yeah, this is going to go quick. Alright, got the water candles. Didn't have to go into the dungeon too deep. I can quickly place the water candles. I'll place one water candle over there, and then I'll... Then I'll head back and try to get the wrath, I guess. The wraths. I don't want to fight pixies during nighttime, because... It's dangerous. Because there's, there's other enemies that can spawn, then I'll just kind of... That won't end well. Alright, got the water candle. I can stay here for a bit. Alright. Those are the enemies I don't want to deal with. I guess I'll head back to that desert area. And... Kill some more. If enemies don't show up very much, I will place a water candle there as well. Oh, golden squirrel. So yeah. Because I know last night there, there were barely any enemies showing up. Oh, it's daytime. Nope, nothing this night. Oh, that sound. Man, this water... Water candle really does work. Look at all these slimes. Oh, Steampunk did move in. Okay. Finally get whatever I needed from it, from him. I still need the megaphone as well. From these pixies. Spreads hollow, yes. The blue solution. Now I got that. Let's head to the desert. There's another desert to the right, which I can contaminate. I want to keep the desert to the left, just as a normal desert in case there is something I need that only a normal desert can provide. Wait, did I? Wait, did I just skip the desert without noticing? I'd be really sad if I did. Oh my goodness, I did. I just went past the desert without even realizing what I was doing. All right, well, I guess I'll get the contaminator. 
Turn into hollowed. Oh no! <laughs> okay, well I gotta run all the way over there again. It's even further than the dungeon, so it can be a pain. There you are. I don't remember what I was looking for actually, but I'll know when it drops it. A water candle would be nice for this. Right here. Well, I got another fast clock, but I don't want that. I want the, the megaphone. Ah, uh, I gotta be more careful. I gotta run all the way over there again. Actually, one thing I will do, I will go over here and get the water candle. I'm not gonna be farming in that outside area anymore. So I usually get to try to go for the wrath, but that was before the hollow desert. Now I can just farm light mummies to get the same item. I might as well take it from here. The blood moon is rising. Actually, that does increase spawn rate. Oh wait, no, this is a hollow biome. And I don't want to be here during a hollow biome. I'm gonna take this stuff and head back to... No, no, it's a blood moon. I don't want to go outside. It's too dangerous. Oh, might as well check what else I need. Okay, obsidian shield is something I'll need eventually. So I need the cobalt shield. Also, also blindfold is something I'll need. Which I think I already have. Yeah. Oh, wrath. Yeah, these can show up here. You know what? Why not? Right, I'm gonna need to some dirt to block some stuff off. Right, right, the cobalt shield. I think I might have one of those, I'm not sure. I don't know if that's a drop or something you craft. Yes. Cobalt shield. Now, obsidian skull. I'll need to craft that one. So I, I did make an obsidian skull once, but it went towards the uh, obsidian horseshoe. So is there any obsidian left? No. Might as well go up and mine some obsidian. Real quick. Alright, I got 48 obsidian. I don't know if that's enough. And it is obsidian skull. Now with that and the cobalt shield, I can craft a obsidian shield. Got that. That'll go along with the blindfold. Alright, after this pixie, I'm gonna make a battle potion. Or after this pixie. Or or whenever I don't see any enemies on the screen. Alright, so I need... I searched it up, I needed Deathweed and Ron Chunk. Alright, might as well take the Ron Chunks and bring them to the... This chest right here. Get some water bottles. And battle potions. Wow, I used everything and got eight. Lasts for seven minutes. I search it up. 
it increases the number of enemies that can be on a screen at a time, and I think it increases spawn rate by like 50%. So that plus the water candle should do really good. And I think it's daytime now, so... Well, I won't get a lot of annoying... I won't get a lot of annoying enemies. Ah! <laughs> All right. Got the megaphone. Man, that took so long. Oh, no, I don't need another fast clock in here. Oh, I'm just gonna get everything. And I have to get crafting. All right, and put away the money. Wait, right here. No, the plan, which takes the trifold map and the fast clock. Bam. And then there's the counter curse mantra, which takes the megaphone, which took forever to get, and the Nazo, which came surprisingly quick. Now, the Ank Charm takes Armor Bracing, Medical Bandage, The Plan, the Counter Curse Mantra, and the Blindfold. And finally, the item we've all been waiting for, the Ank Shield. Four defense, grants immunity to knockback and fire blocks, and grants immunity meet, and grants immunity to most debuffs. This shield is amazing. You basically, there's barely any debuffs that can actually affect you. And I'm gonna replace this. Man, I've been recording for over two hours and a half right now. I usually record for like less than an hour. Oh man, but finally, it's crafted. I better not die and lose it. That would suck. But yeah. I can put away these stuff. But anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode of Terraria Flip World. Hope you enjoyed. Man, it's over. I guess next time, I will try to fight Golem. I'll figure out a way of fighting him and just do it. But yeah, that's going to be it, so goodbye.